back to the channel today we are talking about how much do travel agents make how do they actually make commission what is that process when do they get paid if you're curious or you have a passion for travel and you're wondering can i make a viable income can i get into this business and really have some extra money do travel agents really make that much today we're going to reveal all that on the show by the way if you're new here i'm cindy williams i am a travel industry veteran i started in the industry over 25 years ago i own my own award-winning travel agency and I'm the CEO of Careers on Vacation, where we teach people how to launch, grow, and supersize their travel businesses. By the way, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and ring the notification bell. We send out videos every single week, training you tips, advice, all kinds of goodies on how to get started in the travel industry and how to scale your businesses up. So with that said, let's jump right in. All right, so today we are discussing how travel agents make commission. How much commission do they make, <laughs> right? When do they get paid? We're gonna answer everything for you guys today. So let's start with how travel agents make commission. Why is this even a thing? Like some people are like, why, would I, why wouldn't I just book online for my travel? Why couldn't I just go to like Expedia or Priceline or why can't I call the vendor direct? Well, the truth is you can, but here's what most consumers don't know. Or if you're not already a travel agent, you might not know this. Whether you're booking through like an Expedia or Priceline, those are considered OTAs, which stands for online travel agencies. They are allowing you to use their online booking service and keeping the travel agent commission. If you book through a, ven a vendor directly, you pay the same price, but you they keep the travel agent commission. So you might ask, well, why do they pay travel agents? Well, the reality is if I'm a vendor or I own a resort, I cannot employ millions of people that will encourage people to purchase my brand, match people with my brand, talk about how amazing my brand is, and that's where travel agents come into play. Originally in the industry, you could only book through travel agents, right? Back in the 70s, 80s, you had to go down to like a mom and pop agency agency and they would talk to you about what was available and get you booked. With the introduction of the internet, while information is still available, now in today's environment, it's very confusing. There's almost too much information. And especially now that we're amidst and post COVID hitting the world, travel has become incredibly complicated. Booking things is is more complicated than ever. Things are so fluid in the travel industry with everything from do we have change fees? What insurance do I need? If I book this vendor, am I going to get a credit if I can't travel? What if I don't pass my COVID test, right? There's like a million things that have made travel more complicated. So the good news is we are more in demand than ever because people are unwilling to trust the OTAs who just shut their phones off, right? In the middle of COVID and said, hey, if you're not traveling in 48 hours, don't call us. We can't help you. But in today's environment, people are looking for that skilled travel agent. So so our relationship with suppliers has been the same for decades. They teach us about their product, they offer us things called FAM trips, which is short for familiarization trips, where we can go and check out resorts and we can tour properties. We work with people called BDMs, which stands for business development managers, who train us on what they have to offer, let us know what the updates are, so we are truly the experts in the things that we sell and we can match clients accordingly. So in turn for matching those clients, in turn for doing our job, we are then paid a commission. So it's a win-win. They don't have us on payroll, but when we sell a vacation, they pay us a percentage of that vacation, right? So that's how the structure works and why travel agents exist and why we get paid what we do. And it is a win-win for everybody, right? So now you might be asking like, how do I get started as a travel agent, which is not today's video. That's not what this one's about. We have a million videos out there, but there's nothing better than our masterclass to check out. So if you are watching this and thinking about getting into the travel industry, before you make that decision, I want you to take our free masterclass, which will help you decide if the industry is really right for you based on your personal goals. So to get that free masterclass, you can go to careersonvacation.com forward slash masterclass, and I'll drop that link below so you guys have it. All right, so the next thing I want to talk about is how much commission are we talking here like do I get 50 bucks do I get a million dollars like 
what do I get when I book a vacation? So the answer to that is it will vary by supplier, but it's pretty much a standard rule that minimum commission is around 10%. So you can get more than 10% on vacations in a few different ways. So if you are selling a lot of a particular provider, if your agency has prefer preferred suppliers or you personally are selling a lot of one supplier, sometimes those t commission tiers can move up to 11%, 12% or more. Cruises, for example, pay higher commissions. Cruises can range anywhere from 16 to 18%. And again, based on the agency's sales, how many they have, your percentages can increase drastically dependent on what your total sales are for the year. If you are an independent agent or agency, you can also negotiate higher commissions. Again, that could be like a whole nother video, but just know that as you grow with your business and as you're selling more of certain vendors or you find yourself relying on, on a particular supplier, if you are having substantial sales, sometimes they have a tier system where it's pretty finite. Other times you can go back and negotiate higher rates. So keep that in mind as well. So in uh, commissions, and so think about that. We're gonna do, I'm actually gonna do some math with you real quick. So I want you to tell me like in the comments below, how many vacations do you personally take every year? For me, it's six to eight, but of course I am, I own a travel agency, right? I recognize like travel's our business, and so some of that's business, some of that's pleasure. But just think about how many vacations do you take a year? Tell me below, because the reason I want you to think about that is Every family, the average family takes anywhere from three to five vacations a year. Some of them are quick weekend trips, some of them are those big uh, bucket list trips, but there is a lot of travel going on. And so in, this is the beautiful thing about the travel industry business model is it is a recurring business model. It's not like you're gonna go to, like if I like this coffee mug, right? I'm going to go and I'm going to buy the coffee mug and I'm not going to think about that supplier anymore. I bought the coffee mug. I got it. That's great. Unlike if you build a relationship with clients, they're going to come back to you for vacation after vacation after vacation. That's what makes the business model a smart business model. So let's walk through some math on you know, one of the things we do at Cruise on Vacation is we specialize in getting people to six figures and beyond, which is kind of like that point where people can quit other jobs, they can transition full time, they can travel the world and have their business if they want. But how do you get to those numbers based on these commissions? So let me walk you through um, a couple examples. And by the way, we just hired a new agent last week and this is a perfect scenario. Her first sale was $22,000, right? So she made almost a $2,000 commission on her very first sale. Now, not every sale is $22,000, of course, but just to give you that success story, like she's a few weeks into us training with her and she already has that for first commission. So that's amazing. But let's do a couple math scenarios. So if you're booking, let's say two vacations a week at right around $5,000, at a 10% commission, that's gonna be around $520,000 a year if you're averaging two $5,000 vacations a week. So if you're independent, meaning you're getting 100% of your commission, and again, if you're new to the travel industry, take that masterclass because this will explain the difference between independent and hosting. But if you're independent, you're getting 100% of your commission, that's around 52 grand a year. So two vacations, $5,000 at minimum 10% commission share, not commission share, 10% commission, around 52K. If you're hosting, meaning you're using another agency's credentials or hosting underneath them, it's gonna be around 20 to 30% less than that. So keep that in mind as well when you think about setup uh, for getting started. So how do I get to that six figures then? Well, you bump up the number of trips that you're booking, right? So if you're booking, just double that scenario, if you're booking four trips at an average of $5,000 a trip, at a 10% commission, that's a million forty thousand, right? A million dollars for a million forty thousand dollars, right? So if you're independent, that's gonna be a hundred and four thousand dollars in your bank account for four trips a week, right? If you're doing one a day and taking Fridays off, there you go. And again, if you're hosting, you can bank on 20 to 30% less, depending on what your commission agreed to commit commission split is with your host agency. So guys, the numbers are there. So we're gonna you know, talk about a few more things that you need to do to get to those numbers. If you don't know how to operate in the online space, you don't know how to market to people, you don't know how to find leads, those are things you have to do. Like you're running a business now, but if you are making this a serious endeavor and you're not going after having a hobby, you're going after having a business, 
it's like one vacation a day and you're in a million, if your average is 5,000, right? So think about that. The numbers are viable and they're out there and it is possible. So that's good news. Now the next thing I want to talk about is when do I get paid? So this sometimes comes as a surprise to people. So I think it's important to talk about it from the beginning and you know this going in. You do not get paid in our industry until travel is completed or in cruises it's sometimes when final deposit takes place but the majority of the time it is after travel so you do the work of working with someone matching them with a supplier booking their vacation managing the vacation right up until travel payday comes after the vacation completes so the vendor collects uh, that money at final payment or whenever that is and then after the vacation is done, then they send you your commission. And the other thing to think about is too, if you're independent and you've set up with that supplier directly, it's just gonna show up in your bank account awesome that's amazing if you are hosting it's going to show up in their accounting system and usually it's going to be the month after so if you have people traveling in december but you're hosting you're probably not going to see that commission until january sometimes even february depending on when it hits in the month because suppliers generally have about 30 days after travel to pay depending on what the agreed upon relationship is agreement is so keep that in mind guys so when you start your travel agency from home where you start becoming a travel agent you need to know there's going to be a ramp up period it's important to know that from the beginning so you don't have bad expectations other another thing to think about though is you also can put a fee structure in place so you can get some cash flow in your business right away this is something that we teach in our careers on vacation program because if it's going to take three to six months to start seeing steady commissions coming in you want to get some income coming in in the front end of your sale now now, some of you are going, oh my gosh, I've never been a travel agent before. How can I charge a fee? Well, you can charge a fee as long as you are a skilled travel professional that is positioned properly, right? It's all in the value that you're going to deliver and you can have a planning fee and there's different ways that you can monetize your agency. Masterclass goes into some of those as well, but you want to plan for that ramp up period and making sure a fee structure is in place is a great idea to have some cash flow coming in while you build your business. So a few reminders, I know we're talking about commission today, how much we make, when we get paid, how the commission structures work, but in order to sell consistent, consistently, if you want to get to four sales a week or more, right? If you want to sell a million dollars in travel a year so you can net six figures a year in this industry, there's some other things that you need to learn. One, you need to learn how to be a travel agent, right? Like travel school, travel programs, you need to learn how to be a good agent because because you're not gonna hit those numbers without being a great travel agent. Secondly, I want you to remember that people will pay for trained and properly positioned agents. Here's the good news. Even if you're brand new, but you've traveled places, you can still position yourself in the travel industry because you get credit for those other vacations and trips and your life experience. So don't think that you, if, even if you haven't been a travel agent before, that you can't charge fees, you can. But I want you to remember that. You need to, because you need to learn how to position yourself and you need to learn how to position uh, that conversation with your clients on how to charge fees and what you're gonna deliver for that fee that you're charging you need to know most importantly how to attract your ideal clients right there's lots of vacations that are fifteen hundred dollars and not five thousand you want to attract ideal clients so you can get to what your monetary goal is for your personal income so attracting ideal clients is key how do you attract ideal clients you need to know how to get a marketing machine in place you need to know how to operate in the online space you need to know how to reach those clients and get them into your system into your proven systems where you can then convert them into clients where you're selling then you build the recurring business model up and it's a piece of cake after that um, you also need to learn how to leverage your new business in the online space so many people order business cards and they learn or maybe they go to travel school and learn how to be a travel agent but no one actually teaches them how to run their business online and then they open up their computer every day and it's like crickets that's not what you want you know doing these things and having not just the how to be an agent but how to run your business online are critical you get those two pieces together now you are throwing gasoline on the fire and things can really start cooking and happening in a faster more productive way for your business so if um 
you are thinking about being a travel agent, I want you to remember there's a huge demand for our industry right now. People are have a ton of vacation days from 2020 that they didn't use because everybody was working from home. They didn't spend their vacation dollars in 2020. So people are doing more bucket list vacations going into 2021. As things open up, they're like, man, they told me I couldn't go to Italy and I always wanted to go to Italy. What if I never got the chance again? Let me make that trip happen. So people are booking those bigger trips and travel is fluid. If you know how to help people and how to serve them at a high level, they will work with you all day long and you're going to make customers for life, which will be amazing. So if you guys need help with this, I would love to show you how. The way that we do that is we have our Cruise on Vacation program. You can apply at cruiseonvacation.com forward slash ready now. So you can chat with one of our success coaches we can learn about your goals and see if it's a fit to apply for the Careers on Vacation program. Careers on Vacation is an ASTA affiliated travel school. ASTA is the American Society of Travel Advisors. They are known worldwide in our industry. And you also in our program get access to my team of experts. We have self-paced curriculum so you can do it all on your own time. If you have another job or college or a family and kids, busy life like I do, the training is all self-paced but you also get hands-on on support from my team. Guys, check out our 80 plus case studies, many of which took place in COVID. During the pandemic, we're still having success after success. I want you to definitely check those out right here on YouTube. There's a playlist for that that you can check out. So I hope today's information was um, good for you guys. I know it's everyone's always curious, like how much money do I really make, right? So I hope that was helpful for you. And uh, listen, don't forget to like, subscribe, give this video a thumbs up if this content has been helping you as you grow your travel businesses, or even if you're just considering it and learning, I hope that this video has been helped to you. So I wish you guys so much love, so much abundance. I wish you the world. See you next time, guys. Cindy Williams here. If you like that last video, make sure you check out my other content to help you grow and scale your very own travel business. And also I invite you to travel around the world with me and find out what I'm doing in my portable, profitable, award-winning travel business. Check out the videos.